Action James Freeman is the Wall Street Journal editorial page assistant editor, and Gary Kalbaum is Kalbaum Capital Management President. They're both Fox News contributors. James, it sure seems that what the congressman is saying is true, that there is a slow walking by Republican leadership of both of these things, both tax reform and health reform. What do you think? Well, I think they know they have to get this done. They, the calendar is getting away from them, and, and I'm not sure they get the urgency, especially on the tax issue, that they've got to make cuts now because you've got to uh, do it for their political survival. If you don't want a repeat of 2006, as uh, Mr. Gohmert was saying, they need to have the economy start growing at a faster rate. But uh, I guess I'd be maybe a little more optimistic I, I, because I think they do uh, realize the urgency of the situation. Uh, but it is important, I, I guess, to agree with yeah. them. They can't allow, when they're in caucus yeah. meetings and they have members whining about how, oh, the tweet from hell right. from the White House today, right. it's too hard to deal with. Forget that. You've exactly. got a job to do. Send it Gary, to his desk. Yes. Sign I couldn't it. agree with James Moore. He's right. Just forget it. I, I know about the tweet stuff. Both Melissa and I have talked for ages about it. It's, it's not helping. However, what's really not helping are the swamp creatures inside the Beltway who've been there for decades. <laughs> they don't want to change anything. They want to keep their, their cozy situation inside the Beltway, their houses, their chauffeurs, etc. Mm. They're the ones who are slow walking all this meaningful change. And here is the shame. You have the White House, you have the Congress, you have the Senate, you have governorships, you have state houses, you have everything, and you're doing nothing. And I just listened to that interview intently. Melissa was asking specific questions and getting nonspecific answers. That worries the living heck out of me. I am in hopes something gets done, but every day that goes by is a bad day. And we were talking about this in February, March, April, May. We're now June, and the clock is a ticking, it my is. friend. It is. The clock's ticking, and the economy's not growing as fast as it should be. Well, meanwhile, Uber informing its employees today it has fired more than 20 people after an investigation into sexual harassment. Uh, Gary, we certainly found out right here, you cannot let these things fester. You got to hit it fast, you got to hit it hard, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there's something else going on here. I am pretty sure that Uber is going to want to go public uh, in the next year, and you just can't have things like no. this popping out in the middle of road shows and wanting to go public, especially when you still have big losses. They want to do a good deal, and they want to do an expensive deal to make as much money as possible, so get this out of the way. But i got to tell you, there's a lot of this going on there, and they better uh, get on top of it in a very big way. Yep. All right, the Trump family is harnessing the power of middle America yet again. The hotel company bearing the president's name is moving into the modest segment of hotel chains, opening its first less expensive rooms in Mississippi, which will also cater to the younger traveling market. James, to me, this is genius. He identified a market that was underserved, this sort of three-star affordable value, straightforward, and he knows how to market to the market he's identified. Are there problems down the road for him with this? Well, it, I think this may be happening out of necessity. When he obviously, when he was first coming into office, a lot of questions about would his uh, hotels uh, unduly benefit from the fact he's president. Now it's tough to tell because this is not a public company, but it seems like if anything, it's been challenging because he is a polarizing figure. He's right. not a, a unifying figure, especially in that uh, high-end affluent uh, clientele that he's. Uh, Right. often catering to in the existing buildings. You see some reluctance at times to put the Trump name on some of the newer properties. So uh, it may be that he's kind of going where the market now is for him. Yeah, absolutely. And it makes a lot of sense. All right, David. All right. Well, making Amazon even more accessible, the e-commerce giant will now be offering discounts on Amazon Prime memberships to those folks who are on food stamps. What? Gary, this boggles my mind. I mean, if if you're on food stamps, do you think you really should be spending six dollars a month for streaming video? And 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 you put it, turn it around. If folks can spend six dollars a month on streaming video, should they be on the federal dole? Uh, probably not. And this is something we've been yelling about for a very long time. But at least. It's not government giving out free stuff like mm -hmm. they did with the phones and phone service. At least it is a company that's deciding to do what they think private they should do. Private redistribution and, and, and of wealth. Them. That's what's going on. The private redistribution. You are correct. <laughs> I still don't think it makes sense. Melissa. 
All right, so President Trump slamming the mainstream media, tweeting the fake mainstream media is working so hard trying to get me not to use social media. They hate that I can get the honest and unfiltered message out. Also, sorry folks, but if I would have relied on the fake news of CNN, NBC, ABC, CBS, Wash Post, or New York Times, I mean, not that he's naming names or anything, I would have, to ha I would have had zero chance of winning White House. James, what do you think? Uh, I mean, he's, he, I'll give him, one thing I have to argue with him <laughs> about is uh, CNN gave him a lot of airtime and uh, perhaps uh, some other networks, other news networks as well. So I think he has to uh, thank uh, some uh, established media, if you will, for where he is. But uh, uh, look, I, for everyone who grinds their teeth uh, looking at some of these tweets he puts out, you do have to have a little humility. A lot of us were saying he has no chance, and uh, That's right. uh, he figured out uh, really better than anyone how to spend very little money and earn free media and use technology to get his message out. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Gary, are the tweets gumming up the works, or is he, does he have a direct path to the people who support him and they love it? Uh, as my nanny Annie used to say, <laughs> oi vey uh, Look, I, 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 I don't know, you know, there comes a point in time where we know what you think. Uh, w look, I agree with him on everything he says about what's going on with the media, but there comes a point in time there are much more important things to get done. As we stated earlier, taxes, health care, immigration, you name it. If you spend half your time dealing and putting down yeah. others in the media, you're not going to get the job done. My main message mm -hmm. to him, get specific and get away from all this noise. You know, my husband always says I shouldn't be allowed to use my phone before I've had breakfast because I'm like really irrational, a little mean-spirited. I don't know, maybe there's something in there. <laughs> like the time of day you can tweet or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you. Back